Hi everyone, it's Laura the Quarantine Gardener and uh, a picture paints a thousand words so I'm actually going to show the difference between single and double flowers I attempted to talk about it in the last video so here you've got a lovely mixture of comfrey and campion and just to show you the campion there this is a single flowered campion so this is the kind of um, wildflower that you'd find in uh, hedgerows it's native to Ireland and the UK and as you can see as I open the the flower there you can see the anthers with the pollen at the tip I hope you can make that out there um, and so that's what attracts as you can see that's what attracts the um, the bee here is the the pollen um, on those into the anthers okay and so i'll just walk across now and show you uh, the double campion in the same videos that you can see it and just that bed as you can see there i'm delighted with that bed everything in it is uh transplant from another garden um and they've all taken so i'm absolutely delighted that so much of it has come back and room for the odd filler but really happy with how how that that is after a show coming out okay and i'll go over to the other bed here there where i have the the double campion just so you can see the difference so that's the double campion then, as you can see, as I said in the last video, just um, it's been bred for more petals. And so that's what you get here and no pollen. And as a result, doesn't self seed. So, you know, for a bed like this, actually, it's, it's very helpful in terms of planning and that that campion will come back every year, won't self seed through the bed. So it's, it's a much smaller bed, this one. So like I wanted to keep the structure quite, you know, tight so I know what's in it. Honesty foxglove, um, silene, there's some rudbeckia, uh, geranium, Johnson's blue and some wallflowers, campion, lovely mix. Whereas in the other bed which is a lot longer I'm delighted to have the campion self seed and use the single flower there but as I said in terms of uh, planting for our beneficial insects single flowers always are the way to go. Again the fever pew at the back there you can see um, is again a great one for all of the pollinating insects. And again, you can get a double fever few as well, which uh, again is not helpful for our um, insect friends. Okay, everyone, hope that clarifies it for you. Take care, happy garden.